Looks like we should be live, you guys. What's going on? Looks like we're just waiting for some people to pile on here. So we'll give it just a few minutes. Got the water here. It is about 9 a.m. here in Salt Lake City. Luckily, there's no uh, construction going on right now. I've got uh, construction going on outside of my apartment right now. Uh, luckily, I'm building a house, so I'll be moving out in uh, January, which is nice, but it looks like they're building more complexes behind my apartment building. So I apologize if you guys hear a little bit of sound. Uh, we should be okay for the next hour or so. Um, but yeah, we're going to wait until some people pile on here. Let me post in the group and make sure that people know that we are live. Let's see. And in case everybody forget, we will just do sort of an impromptu training here on uh, what I've been doing when it comes to, you know, ranking my videos and getting results on my new channel. So let me go ahead and copy this. Yeah. See if I can share the, the registration link. Let's see. In the group again. So today, what I'm going to talk about is tags, okay? So we're going to talk about optimizing the tag section so that you can be seen at the top of YouTube search engine as well as within the suggested videos, okay? So I really want to focus on that today. Uh, we'll also do a little bit of Q&A too as well. Um, so make sure that you stay tuned for that. It looks like we have Chad on. Chad, what's going on, brother? Good to have you on. Uh, feel free, brother, to ask questions in the comments box below or to the side here, and I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have. Please let me know how the course is going. Hopefully, you're enjoying it. Hopefully, you're getting tons of value from it. So let me know, brother, if you have any questions whatsoever. As I'm going through this, this is going to be sort of a uh, not not exactly a structured uh session of course i'm going to be going through like tags and how to optimize the tag section but feel free to ask questions throughout the course of this i want to engage uh with you guys um with the people that are just jumping on so feel free don't hesitate to ask any questions during this and i'll do my best to jump back and forth and make sure that i answer your questions but what i want to do really on these calls is to show you uh what's working right now inside of my YouTube business, what I'm doing, the actions that I'm taking, the softwares that I'm using, the, uh, um, the different tools that I have that are really helping me uh, create results. And so that's what I'm really gonna be covering in uh, this call and future calls. So let's go ahead and do this. Let me, let me show you a tool that I've actually been testing um, the past few weeks on really optimizing my channels. These tools are all about optimization, on-page, off-page, scheduling, um, ensuring that you've got your title tags, descriptions on point, your thumbnails, making sure that you're adding closed captions, all those different things. It's sort of like a, uh, a built-in software in your web browser that you can use to make sure that you complete um, everything that needs to be completed so your video is fully optimized to get the best results possible. 
And so, of course, there's two softwares that I'm still testing. I like both of them for different reasons, but we'll go ahead and dive into each of them and uh, I'll show you kind of how to use them and then um, you guys can feel free to test them for yourself too as well. But I think this is great to ensure that you guys are doing everything correctly um, from the get-go. So let me go ahead and share my screen and we'll go ahead and we will dive in here. Okay, so the first software that I'm testing is called TubeBuddy. It's not exactly a software, but it's, it's built into the web browser. It's actually an app that you can download to Chrome. So you can actually go to TubeBuddy.com, right? And you can, uh, you can download it for free or... Um, you can go through my link. Of course, I get credit for it. You can feel free to do that too as well. Um, if you go to, uh, if I go back home here, let's see. It'll take me home. Okay, cool. You can also go to tubebuddy.com forward slash gelder. I get a little bit of credit for that if you decide to sign up and then pay the monthly fee. So I'm paying like $39, $49 a month, and I'm just testing this out right now. I'm not saying 100% certain that you should uh, get this as well, um, but I'm going to dive into it. I'm going to see how my channel develops over time by using this, okay? So let me kind of go through what I really love about this. Um, first of all, you can go to your health report, which gives you some good data, especially if you're going to eventually run some, some paid advertising on on YouTube or it's good when you make future videos you know exactly who you're speaking to right you know your audience so this is kind of per some pretty cool data that I have right here I'm pretty much just giving away the data on my channel um, so please don't I prefer that you don't just go for my keywords and shoot for the same keywords um, because what I'm teaching does in fact work and uh, I don't want to exactly create more competition in the same uh, on the same topics so definitely use this um, for different you know your niche whatever niche that you're in um, and kind of take this as a, as a lesson so let's go ahead and dive in here so we have the health report which is pretty cool it's actually going to tell you what keywords you're ranking for right so like for example this keyword mobe got 139 views in the past month and then we have all the other keywords right here as well that I'm, I'm ranking for at the top of, of YouTube. So pretty cool there. Um, we also have related videos in the suggested uh, video section that I'm showing up for like this video right here. I'm showing up in the suggested section. One of the most <coughs> common questions. Right, right here. So, and this is of course the suggested video section right here. Right, so I'm showing up quite a bit. And, and, and I'll show you how to show up in the suggested video section too as well here in this, uh, in this training call. So that's pretty cool that it gives you all this data. Uh, you can see most of my audience is 25 to 34, 69% men, 31% women, and you got the engagement right here, subscribers, uploads. And again, this is a brand new channel. This isn't one of my micro channels which of course is another way that you can build your YouTube business. This, the purpose of this channel, the vision for this channel is to build a long-term brand, right? So the rate at which I rank my videos is gonna be a little bit slower, right? Because I'm not uh, optimizing as much by the channel name and uh, you know by the, the videos in that channel, like if you have the channel name and that channel name was all about, um, for example, uh, let's say it's all about, what's a good topic? What's a different topic than what I usually talk about in my videos? Um, let's say that it's all about stopping your dog from barking, right? And your channel name is Stop My Dog From Barking, right? So if I optimize the channel name for Stop My Bog Dog From Barking and the video Stop My Dog From Barking, then I'm going to rank a lot easier. 
Um, but is that strategy sustainable long term? I, I realize that that strategy works a lot better when you're going for key phrases that have less competition, right? Um, key phrases that, uh, that uh, a lot of people aren't going for. So for those types of keyword phrases, you can build channels around those keyword phrases to get fast traffic, right? It's not necessarily beneficial from a branding perspective, uh, but it's beneficial from a traffic generation perspective, getting traffic to your websites, right? So you want to use a branded channel as a long-term solution to your marketing, not a short-term solution, okay? Um, the great thing about using a micro channel is when you get people on your list, yes, that's great because now you have them on your email list and you can even refer them to your larger channel and get subscribers that way too. So there's different ways that you can do it. Um, I'm just going for the long-term sustainable way. And it, the, the, it's long-term and I believe it's easier because um, of the fact that I don't have to worry about going out there and creating a bunch of channels and creating new email addresses for those channels and, and doing all that legwork. Now I can have a team that, that does that, um, but that's just not my focus. My focus is building up this, this channel right here, right now. So you guys are going to be able to see over the shoulder how I'm building this channel, um, how often I upload videos. You know, I'm uploading videos anywhere between three to five times a week. Um, and the idea is to go for keywords that have a lot of competition. Since I know how to rank videos now, I want to go for keywords that get a lot of traffic. I want to go for topics that are going to get a lot of traffic. So I'm going out there and I'm reverse engineering channels uh, that are successful and videos that are successful, and I'm sort of recreating those, those videos and putting my own spin on it, right? Putting, putting more content, uh, making it better. Right, and I urge you to, to do that too as well. So, with that said, that's sort of the vision of the channel. Um, so, you're going to see this develop from 3,000 subscribers to 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 plus. So, uh, this channel is really going to be focused on uh, anything from any, anything in the areas of health, uh, wealth, you know, internet marketing, um, even like daily vlogs, pretty much everything everything that I'm passionate about, right? So um, you'll notice for a while I'm gonna be uploading videos about how to get results on YouTube. And then I'll have videos that are about how to, uh, you know, get in better shape. So I'll have videos about just fun videos, travel videos, right? And so I don't wanna limit myself, and so that's why the name of my channel is my uh, brand name. That's why it's, it's Josh Elder, because I don't wanna limit myself to uh, one specific niche. But you can do that. If you, if you want to create a channel just all about health and fitness, then it could be, you know, a brand built around that, just that. So think about that as you're building and uh, creating uh, your channel. So with that said, it's pretty cool that you have this health report. Um, you also have this launch pad that I love. I think this is pretty cool. Um, if you go to the dashboard, when you upload a video, it has like a checklist template that ensures that you have completed everything that needs to be completed get the most out of your video so this is really cool like this is the checklist task right here so this is a recent video that I did and this will say hey, did you write a compelling title did you enter a complete description did you add descriptive tags did you create a custom thumbnail so on and so forth did you add a car did you add an end screen all that cool stuff. So when you upload your video, you can go through this checklist and make sure that you completed every single uh, section. And so once you do, you can just write or you can mark as complete right here. So pretty cool stuff, right? So we go back to the dashboard. You can select a video. I can actually go to my, my channel right now if I go to YouTube. And let's type in my name. And let's go to videos here. Let's go to one of my videos. Like for example, this one right here. I don't think I've up, I don't think I've added that to my tube buddy yet. No, I haven't. So let's click on this video right here. And, and the timing? It couldn't have been more. Let's copy this and let's go over to 
orange pad. Select the video. Let's paste this. And boom, there it is. Generate upload checklist. So it'll actually run a best practice audit. It'll look at the video. It'll make sure, hey, is there a compelling tile? Hey, is you know the keywords in the description or the tags good? And then based off of that, it will look at growth opportunities, which is pretty cool. So we can just click process right here. And then of course it's processing the video, it's checking the title, it's checking, checking the tags, it's checking everything, cards. So I really like TubeBuddy for the purpose of ensuring that you're doing everything to make sure that you're getting the most benefit from your videos. Um, there's other software I like from like an SEO perspective and a ranking perspective. They go deeper into tags. They like suggest tags to you. And this does the same thing, but it just doesn't seem as accurate. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've, we've uploaded this brand new video. Of course, it's got the upload checklist, and then we can check these off. We also have like opportunities. Here's some suggested tags that they suggest. So search phrases, click to add. I've already got, see I've got 418 so far. You can have up to uh, 500 characters. So you really wanna fill your tag section with as many uh, different variations of your keyword as possible, right? As much as 500 characters though. So you really wanna get the most benefit from your tag section. So add as many tags as you can to fill that up, okay? The more tags you have, uh, the more uh, keywords you're going to rank for. So, so this is all about how to get, how to make money on YouTube without subscribers how to get paid on YouTube without subscribers. So that's like a, a decent search phrase. Um, Joshua Elder, my, you got my name here. Money on YouTube, how to make YouTube pay you. That's not bad. This isn't bad either, but that goes over. So we're just gonna delete that. And we're gonna save changes here. And uh, boom, Let's then we'll mark that as complete. There still appears to be tags that need to be added to your video. Okay, so it looks like I need to go over to my video and I need to personally add these tags. It looks like, I was watching a fun debate here, Ty Lopez, hilarious man. Anyways, when I go to my creator studio, what I'll do is I'll go to that video and I'll add those suggested tags. So we'll go down here. And go ahead and find out what those tags were. Again, real fast. So we had how to make YouTube. Oh, it looks like it did add it. Okay, cool. Awesome. It looks like it did add it. I don't know why it's... Uh, not saying that uh, it added it, but it looks like it did. There still appears to be tags that need to be added to your video. Oh, it's, it's these must be these tags here. Yeah, we don't need to add those tags. So that's cool. It does automatically add your tags. And then we marked, it's marked as complete. So that's kind of cool, right? So then as you complete your task, you check them off. Um, and then you get the best practices section right here. Uh, write a compelling title, cards are missing. And basically, of course, if you don't know what a card is, a card is, uh, you know, that little excl exclamation point that is in the top right-hand corner of your video, like of the, you've maybe seen on other videos, that's called a card. And the whole purpose of that is to, you know, promote a product, promote your website, and when people click on that, it'll go straight to your website. So as you're promoting something on your video, you can say, hey, you know, click the exclamation point, click the card uh, to learn a little bit more uh, information. So this just is telling me, hey, you have cards missing. Make sure that you um, add your cards. But other than that, I've got eight out of 10 correct. Um, so it gives me an eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and then I think the tags, the tags too short, that should be checked off. Um, so there should actually be nine instead of eight. 
but that's that's kind of cool checklist right um, and then you can actually track your keywords right here it's pretty cool too so for example if I wanted to see where my my videos are ranking for this specific keyword like this was generated yesterday what I would have to do is I would have to regenerate this you have to regenerate these reports every single time so it won't automatically update the report I don't think so what I'll have to do is I'll have to add a keyword so let's add a keyword um, so we'll do how to make money on YouTube without subscribers and you can add a multiple keywords right here but just for the sake of this I'm just gonna add one so without subscribers so let's go ahead and look at this go to ranking reports and regenerate ranking report so I think you can do this like once or twice every 24 hours hopefully it'll let me so I did it a few times yesterday. So we got, like this one is showing that it's ranked number eight. I just recently up, uh, uploaded these. This one's ranking number 14. This is 42, 42. Um, and this will actually show you based off the videos that you've actually added to TubeBuddy. That's the results that we're getting right here. So how to make a custom YouTube thumbnail. I haven't added this specific video to TubeBuddy, so that's why it says none of your videos showed up in the top 50 results. Okay, so this is kind of cool. You can regenerate this, you can retrack, and you can go to each of these videos and say, hey, okay, I'm, on, I'm ranked number 42 because I'm not optimizing my tags or I need to um, you know optimize my description better I can you know optimize my title better so and typically if you're reverse engineering other videos that are successful and you follow their exact formula um, it, it should be fairly easy for you over time to start gaining momentum and, and rank in the top five right so I'm not expecting these videos to rank fast okay I know this is gonna take some time because a lot of these keywords that I'm going for are very competitive and the way that I'm going to outrank my competition is the process of aging my channel by having a channel for a long time, uploading to my channel frequently, right, and uh, getting engagement on my videos, getting people to like, comment, you know, subscribe, all that good stuff. So a combination of that is really going to help me um, rank over time. So I'm really playing the long game when I'm looking at this, guys. That's the way that you want to look at, at, at YouTube and ranking videos on YouTube is look at it from a long-term pers perspective, although I gave you some short-term strategies. You really want to focus on building that brand. So uh, definitely do that. Now, short two to three-minute videos work as far as generating traffic, but you want to use those types of videos on like micro channels. Now, every once in a while, yeah, you can use those on your 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 primary YouTube channel but if people see redundant videos on this like basically with the same script but a different key or a different topic they're gonna they're, they're not gonna like that they're not gonna see that the, the videos are of value so you want to leave those micro channels for traffic generation purposes that's the whole purpose your branded channel is all about giving value Right? And the best way that you can start is just by documenting. Document your life, document what you're doing. Um, and then you can get into creating and structuring. But I think that's the fastest way to overcome the fear of being on video. If you do have that, is just start documenting. Share with people what's happening right now versus thinking like, oh my gosh, I gotta memorize this and then I gotta speak and I gotta make sure I cover this topic and then this topic and then I don't forget this. Right? So the best thing that you can do, especially if you're starting, is to just, just like sort of document people uh, with people and and you know tell them what you're learning as you're learning it and uh, you'll be able to provide a lot more value without the expectation that you need to you know uh, cover you know a certain topic in detail you're just sharing with people versus like setting this expectation of I gotta cover this this and this so hope, hope that makes sense
So you got your keywords to track right here. You can also add your competitors and manage your competitors and see what they're doing to have success. I still need to figure out this part. Maybe we'll go over this in a little bit more detail next time. But I just wanted to show you this quick software. I think it's really cool uh, to help you ensure that you're getting the most out of your YouTube channel. So I, I, I think it's definitely worth it, especially to be able to track your keywords, know what's working, know what's not working, and have everything in an organized place with TubeBuddy. So that's cool. Let me show you something else that really uh, works well, works effectively when it comes to optimizing your tag section. And it's a software built-in app in your web browser uh, called Vi VidIQ. And this is cool because if I go to, let's say that I want to rank for um, how, how to stop my dog. Let's just use the same keyword, how to stop my dog from barking, right? And we click on this video. Boom, it's check it out. Skills. This is cool. If I wanted to create a video around how to stop my dog from barking, we probably want to take something from the title. It's ranked number one, right? So this video is working. Don't fix what isn't uh, broken, right? You don't want to copy it exactly. But you want to model the title, look at their description. And I've realized as far as your description goes, your description doesn't need to be any longer than a couple sentences with just your primary keyword at the beginning. Maybe a paragraph at most, but it doesn't need to be that long. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the video tag section. Look at all these tags that he's using. So if you have vidIQ, it will actually tell you, if you like, it'll give you an SEO score, right? Do they have you know, all the right tags? Uh, have they optimized the video tag section fully? So it will rank, it'll give a rating based off of those specific variables, which is kind of cool. So you got trained dog to stop barking. So you can actually optimize for the same exact video tags. I would steal his video tags and use them in my same video that's all about how to stop my dog from barking. So that's kind of a cool little tool. Also, if you are, and I did this the other day, I actually did this yesterday. Let me see if I can log into my account, put a Gmail here, and I'm going to log out of this account. And then I'll log into other accounts. Go to my YouTube. Okay, so this is pretty cool. When I go to one of my videos, and if you want to download vidIQ, all you got to do is go to uh, Google and type in vidIQ, and you can download it right here. vidIQ.com forward slash apps forward slash vision. So you got that there, pretty cool. You just install it as a Chrome extension. And then what will happen is when I want to go to edit a video, let's say that I want to edit, go to view all. Let's say that I want to edit pretty much optimized all these videos. Let's say I want to edit this one here, three productivity tips for online entrepreneurs. And I want to add more tags. This is kind of cool. What vidIQ is going to do is first it actually tells me where I'm ranked. So number 12, number one, number two for this keyword. And then it'll show me that, hey, my SEO score is 29.2. It's basically saying, hey, Josh, you should add more tags. Uh, your keyword in the title is pretty good. You've got keywords in the description. Um, so what, what you'll do is you can go down here and it'll recommend tags for you. So you, you, I can like add productivity, I can add entrepreneur, I can add how to be more productive. Pretty cool, right? So that just raised, I think that just raised, did it just raise my SEO score? Let's see if it changes. It looks like it doesn't, yeah it does, it changes my SEO score, which is pretty cool. As I add these tags, so I need to re-add them actually. 
ignore how to be. And then what it will do also, you can gain views from other videos. So like this video right here has 76,000 views, and these are the tags that video is using. So if you use the same tags as another video, what will happen is when somebody's watching that video, like for example, how to stop wasting your time, in the suggested video section, you're actually gonna show up for that video. You can also, like for example, if, if somebody's got a really good brand name, uh, for example, there's in the YouTube, like as far as my competition on YouTube, you've got, excuse me, a brand called Video Influencers. If I include their channel name in my tags of a video, I can actually show up uh, in the suggested videos for some of their videos, which is pretty cool. So it tells Google, hey, this has something to do with video influencers. So if you're watching a video on the video influencers channel, then you'll show up on the side of, uh, of, of the suggested video section. So that's another way to get traffic. Pretty cool, right? So after that, I click Save Changes. So that's what I'm using VidIQ and TubeBuddy for right now. And I'll have a link below in the, in the uh, if you want to watch the recording, if you're watching the replay, there will be a link below where you can access TubeBuddy and you can access VidIQ. So I'm using both of these to find out what works best right now, but um, this is pretty cool stuff right here. So what I want to do is I want to open up for some questions right now. Wanted to cover that first real quick. Hope, hope you guys are getting some value from this. So let me go ahead and let me... Uh, Stop sharing the screen. And uh, Cody says, this is awesome. Awesome, Cody. Sweet, sweet. So yeah, I wanna open up for Q&A. You guys, guys have any questions whatsoever? Anything that I could cover for you? Um, that's really all I wanted to go over today. It looks like it's been a half hour. We covered quite a bit of content within a half hour. Um, but yeah, I'll give you guys about uh, 30 seconds to a minute. Let me take a drink here if you guys wanna ask some questions. I uh, would be glad to take questions from you. Mm. All righty. I think that, I think we're good. Awesome, you guys. Appreciate you being on this. Let's see, actually, we got we do have a question. <laughs> Does vidIQ show you how many backlinks and embed uh, your videos that you have? So we covered a lot of on-page stuff today. I'll cover more off-page stuff uh, next week. Um, but vidIQ doesn't show that. There is, a, there is a solution out there that will show you backlinks of different videos and competition. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that next week, okay? So that'll, the whole purpose of next week will be all about backlinks. Um, and also let me know if, if you have any questions uh, that you'd like me to cover for next week's session. Would love to know that too as well. You can let me know in the Facebook group. Hope you got tons of value from this, this training and we'll see you guys in the next training. Take care.